Hey everybody, welcome to the Infinite Regression. Oh my lord, look how infinite it is today. My god, did it get more infinite? Jeez, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what's always true here in the Infinite Regression, this hellscape of infinite madness, is that we play video games. And today I'm going to need you to chill out because we are playing something that, like, you, you're not going to see a lot of, like, zippity-boo on the screen because we're playing the ultimate fishing simulator. At least that's what the game tells me. That That's what it tells me it is. Is it the ultimate fishing simulator? Oh, I think we're going to find out, aren't we? Anyway, so... Uh, those of you who've been following this channel for a while, and you exist, and congratulations on that. Anyway, uh, you you may remember that I once bought a fishing game for forty nine cents, a game called Fishing Adventure, and that game, as it turns out, like when I started playing this one, I was immediately drawn in by the fact that it looks exactly the same uh, in terms of the baits, the rods, the reels. Like, a lot of them are exactly the same as the ones from the other game. And it's not just that the baits are the same. They look the same. It's the same little icons and whatnot from Fishing Adventure, which I got for 49 cents. Now, normally, Fishing Adventure is $4.99, but Every Steam sale, every single one, it always goes down to 49 cents, and it is well worth your uh, four bits that you pay to, to get it. Wait, four bits? Two bits. No, two bits is 25. I don't know why bits, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how they work. Anyway, regardless, the fact of the matter is that, um, yeah, Fishing Adventure... Very fun, very great, super awesome. Now, what's the difference between Fishing Adventure and the Ultimate Fishing Simulator? Oh, the Ultimate. We've gone Ultimate, ladies and gentlemen. Um, here's the difference. Is that Ultimate Fishing Simulator has more stuff, I guess. Like, there are more rods, more reels, more, uh, you know, lines, baits, lures, and just general stuff that you can get. And so that's a thing. If that's a thing that you're like, okay, I need more. I need more stuff in my thing. And I will say this, compared to Fishing Adventure, this game actually scales better in terms of how you level up, how quickly you level up, uh, how much experience you get, how much money you get, and how quickly you can buy new rods, new reels, new baits, etc. Because Fishing Adventure is grindy. It is the grindiest of all fishing games. Uh, so there is that. There is that difference. This one much less grindy. And I appreciate that. But literally Every other aspect of this game is worse than Fishing Adventure. Literally every other aspect. Because, check this business. Uh, the drag, uh, those of you who know you're fishing, you will know. It's kind of, drag is kind of like uh, the resistance that your reel gives when you're fighting a fish. You know, like... You know how if you tug on a fishing line, you can sometimes, depending on what where the drag is set, um, unspool some fishing line just by tugging on the line, you know? Uh, if the drag is set really high, you won't be able to pull any line out. If it's set really low, you'll just go zzz, and you'll pull out a whole bunch. Anyway, uh, so in this game, you, your drag options are 0, 33, 66 and all the freaking way <laughs> like that's it this is what you got and 
in Fishing Adventure, you can set it very precisely. And you do it with the scroll wheel of your mouse, which is very nice. I enjoy it very much. Um, yeah. So the the actual drag is easier to do in Fishing Adventure. And um, the other thing about it is that Fishing Adventure, just the simple act of casting is easier and better in Fishing Adventure. The act of reeling a fish in is easier and better in Fishing Adventure. Like uh, deciding which bait to use, deciding which hook to use, like getting information in the user interface. Like everything, everything is better in Fishing Adventure except for <laughs> the, the one thing, the one and only thing is that it's really grindy uh, fishing adventure is this one not as much that's it this is the only thing that this game has on fishing adventure which is much cheaper like normally this is a 19.99 i think is the price in the steam store um, it goes down to $4.99 which is the normal price for fishing adventure during steam sales and, you know, it goes on sale fairly frequently throughout the year. And I will just say, look, instead of buying this game, how about this? How about buy uh, four copies? Or no, for four ninety nine, how many copies can you buy of, let's do some math. Okay, here we go. 4.99 divided by 0.49. You can buy... 10.18367346938776 copies. You can buy 10 copies of Fishing Adventure, give them to your 10 friends, and then go into tournaments with each other and stuff and have a good old time. That's it. Because, like, I feel like this game is cursed with feature overload this is just too many things going on and when you play a fishing game i don't know about you but like when i play a fishing game i am looking to just chill out and enjoy a game i'm not looking for like something that is feature laden you know what i'm saying i'm not looking for something where i have to like search through many multiple menus or like where there's stuff to figure out. Here's something that drove me crazy, by the way. Look, uh, in Fishing Adventure, when you run out of one bait, it goes to the next bait automatically. You run out of bait in this one, and you will cast your line out and realize, like, after you let it soak for five minutes, and you're like, man, these fish really aren't biting, you're like, oh, it's because I'm fishing with a bare hook. Awesome. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that's no fun. That's no good. Here's the other thing that drives me crazy. Um, it is that, like, this game has a look at it from the water perspective, which they don't have in Fishing Adventure. But also, you don't have that in real life. There's no let me cast my, you know, bait out there and then let me go stick my head in the water. That's not a thing. That's not how fishing works. And so um, I don't like it. And I also don't like the fact that when you're doing it from that point of view, catching the fish is actually pretty hard. And the other thing I don't like is, like, lures are darn near impossible to use. I never caught anything on a lure, be it a spinner, a spoon, a, like whatever. Like I tried multiple different lures that said that they were effective with the fish that are in this pond, and I caught nothing. And I looked up the tutorial on how to fish with lures, and I found out that I was doing it correctly. And it just made me angry that in Fishing Adventure... Fishing with lures is so simple. And the little graphic that it gives you for how far down 
Um, you know, it doesn't tell you exactly how far down, but it tells you sort of whether your lure is pitching down toward the bottom or pitching up toward the surface, and you kind of want to keep it in the middle because um, you don't want to be dragging the bottom with a lure, and you don't want to be, like, skimming the surface where, you know, no sane fish in its right mind would ever try to bite it. Anyway, uh, but yeah, with this game with the ultimate fishing simulator quote unquote um fishing with lures is frustrating and difficult because the only way to tell how far down there it is is to go into the water mode the water view and yeah you can see the fish down there and the fish are looking at your lure and thinking no i'm not interested I got nothing for this lure that you're throwing out there. Don't care about it. Don't like it. Um, so go kick rocks, Mr. Fisherman. And you you look at it and you're like, there's nothing I can do. And I've tried all the different things. You know, try and be a little herky-jerky with it. Uh, tried slow and steady. Tried all the different things that it said in the tutorial. And none of them worked ever. Not once. And the other thing about the in the water mode is that you will see fish take your bait. Like if you go water mode and you use an actual like a live bait, um, guess what? You'll see the fish take your bait and then you won't know whether it took the bait or not because you can't know because it's apparently impossible to know. Um, so yeah. Because the the graphics of this game are not good enough for it to look like the fish actually swallowed the bait. So it just goes up near the bait and opens his mouth. And then you're supposed to guess at how long his mouth has to be open before you jerk the line, set the hook, and, you know, reel him in. It's so frustrating, especially when you know that this same freaking company put out another game that is very simple and very straightforward and one would one would even say intuitive and so like the fact that i spent more money on this game and expected like i don't know what i expected i honestly don't know what i expected i honestly don't know why i bought it because the game i had fishing adventure is fine it's more than fine. I put hours into that game and loved it. Like, seriously. And here's another thing. Like, uh, both of them have tournament modes and whatnot. The tournament mode for this one, kind of clunky and ridiculous. Now, I'm fairly certain that it's like fake tournament mode in the other one. You know how all of your .io games have fake multiplayer, you know? Anyway... I'm pretty sure that that's what's happening with the uh, fishing adventure. But if it's not, if it's like, I, I will fully accept fake tournament mode. It's still exciting to me and I still enjoy it. Uh, but if that's not fake, oh my God, that is amazing and I love it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, let me, let me put a final score on this one and then we will leave it alone. I will I, I won't hide it in my library, but I'm also probably not gonna play I will play Fishing Adventure another fifty seven times before I play this once. And that's just facts. Anyway, let me put a final score on it. Okay, so final score wise for the ultimate fishing simulator is this very useful pocket knife. As you can see it has a very reasonable number of features that in no way inhibit its use whatsoever just add more things it only makes it a better knife right exactly anyway ladies and gents i'm kind of upset about this one i feel betrayed honestly and uh yeah i might have to review another game tonight just to make it feel okay Anyway, that will do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.